Today we're going to go over how to use partial products to multiply and find the products of different problems. We have some examples here that will help us with our homework and with multiplying double digit and triple digit numbers. First, let's look at the problem 75 times 5. Now we're going to look at the 5 and then we're going to go to the highest place value, which in this case would be the tens place, and we're going to say 5, that 7 means 70s. So 5, 70s, arrow, well I know 5 times 7 is 35, and then we still have a 0, so it's actually 350. The next step is going to the 1's place, I'm looking at that, and that is 5, 5's, 5 times 5 is 25. Now notice here, I'm very careful that I align my digits for place value. So make sure your columns are straight. That way when you add them together, it's very simple. And 0 plus 5 is 5, 5 plus 2 is 7, 3 is 300. So that is your answer, 75 times 5 equals 375. Piece of cake. Next problem, 89 times 7. Well, I'm going to take the 7 and put it here. 7, 8 is 80s, and 7 times 8 is 56, but there's still a 0, so I tag that on, 560. Next, I have 7 nines, arrow, 7 times 9 is 63. Notice how I'm aligning my digits, 0 plus 3, is 3, 6 plus 6 is 12, carry the 1, 623 is my answer for that. So far so good. Now on tonight's homework, there's a problem similar to this one here. I just changed it a little bit and I think it's, the 8's the different. But we're, we're going to try to do this and we'll be okay. So now I'm looking at this. This is the hundredths place, so this is the first step now. So first step, 8 one hundreds is eight hundred. Next step would be eight sixties. I know that eight times six is forty-eight. Now I'm going to be careful here because I need to make sure I keep this aligned. It's forty-eight with a zero, so it's four hundred eighty. And then lastly I have eight twos. Eight twos and that 8 times 2 is 16. My numbers are all aligned, perfect. 0, 0, and 6 is 6. 8 and 1 is 9, and then 8 and eight and 4 would be 12. My answer is 1,296. So you should be able to look at that and then do the problem on your homework with no trouble. Now this one is just for a challenge. You know how I like to push you guys. You should always be pushing yourself. So I actually included a number that's in the thousands. And now it, this follows the same sequence as all the other ones. It's just the first step would be the thousands place. So we look at the four. The one is actually a thousand. So four thousands is four thousand. I'm going to be careful with my place value again. Next one, 4, and the 3 here is 300. So 4, 300, arrow, and 4 times 3 is 12, but there's also two zeros, so that's 1,200. I'm going to make sure I'm aligning these because all the trouble that I've seen with all the inaccurate answers is because the friends did not line up their digits and they just added whatever they saw and then that was confusing and it didn't work. Okay, the next one, 440s. Four times four is 16. Oh look, I'm not aligning it there. 16 and then last is four threes and that's 12. Add them all together and you get your answer. There you go. Done. 4,372. Have fun.